coming up on Around Kern County, we're giving you a behind the scenes look at our new psychiatric health facilities, setting the standard across the state. And we're celebrating our human services department becoming a Blue Zone certified workplace. We're sharing what this means for our employees and clients when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off today's show with an amazing sneak peek at two new county buildings set to open next month. Earlier this week, we all loaded up and toured Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, brand new psychiatric health facilities, setting the standard across the state. We asked youth, like, what, what do you not like about our crisis <laughs> buildings and when you go into services? And they wanted green space, they wanted natural light, they wanted a warm, welcoming environment, um, not sterile. And so we added a lot of colors and um, just to sit, have a reading nook. I want to sit and read a book in, in natural light. Each building will serve 16 people and will cater to adults and children experiencing various mental health issues right here in our community. From the bright colors to the comfortable design, these 24-7 staffed buildings are meant to inspire hope and healing. We have seen a dramatic increase in the need for inpatient health care in our community for quite some time, particularly for our youth. Uh, sometimes our youth have to travel outside of Kern County for inpatient care, and we know it is so much more important for them to be here in our community, close to their loved ones, their family members and friends. And so this, these facilities really now provide that care so that we can really wrap around these individuals within Kern County. Kern BHRS will be holding a grand opening in May, in addition to public tours, to celebrate their long-awaited public-private partnership that has taken nearly seven years to complete. As you can see in today's video, finishing touches are still needed, such as inspirational art and comfy bedding. We'll be sure to keep you updated on the details of how you can check them out for yourself and come June, these facilities will be filled with clients in need, and we couldn't be prouder of the impact this meaningful project will have right here on our county. And Human Services is celebrating being the first Kern County Department to be officially Blue Zone certified. Here's a look at their special event, kicking off a new era for their workforce and clients. It is with great excitement that we announced that the Department of Human Services OC Seals location is officially a Blue Zones approved work site. The Blue Zones project takes the insights that we've learned from those areas and brings them into local communities throughout the United States so that we too can learn how to live longer and better. From installing bike racks and rolling out new walking routes for the staff to redesigning the break rooms to make them more comfortable and available for downshifting. By implementing healthy evidence-based options, this worksite has helped improve its employees' well-being, making healthy choices easier. This is truly a celebration, but it's only the beginning of our journey. We encourage many other businesses in our community, in Kern County, the city of Bakersfield, to join us to improve the overall well-being of our entire community. And we're celebrating National Library Week. This year's theme is Ready, Set, Library. Libraries give us a green light to experience something truly special, a place to connect with others, learn new skills, and pursue our passions through book clubs, story times, movie nights, crafting classes, early childhood programs, and more. The mission at our Kern County Library is to build community and cultivate opportunities for Kern County residents by connecting people, ideas, information, and technology. For more information about our 22 library branches, just visit their website at kerncountylibrary.org. A new season is officially here and Kern County Public Works wants to ensure your spring cleaning is done right. Anna Marie Odo shows you how you can keep your home safe. Kern County Public Works is hosting several collection events to help our community get rid of unwanted household bulky items and hazardous waste. Beginning this Saturday, April 13th, 
Public Works will hold collection events at the Meadows Field International Terminal, Kern Medical, and the Kern County Fairgrounds from 8 in the morning till 12 in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste on Saturday, April 20th at Leroy Jackson Park from 8 in the morning to 12 in the afternoon in Ridgecrest. Bulky waste includes household appliances such as refrigerators, mattresses, barbecue grills, and more. Public Works is also hosting a household hazardous waste collection event on Saturday, April 20th from 9 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon at 22636 Airport Way in California City. You're encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information on these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.